Hello there. I just have to um, mention something here that I read in the news this morning. Um, in reference to the NBC article, ACT Act for America stages marches against Sharia law nationwide. And we've been hearing a little bit about this Sharia law. And this article here proves that NBC is another far radical, biased left fake news outlet. When you read the news article, which I'll reference below, you can clearly see that it is left radical and biased because of the amount of times which I lost count of where they say ACT is a hate group. And in my opinion, ACT is not a hate group because they want to protect the Constitution of America with the concept of separation of church and state. So ACT is marching against the legislation of Sharia law in several states and in our country. And if you already don't know this, the states are Alabama, Arizona, Arkansas, Florida, Indiana, Iowa, Kansas, Kentucky, Louisiana, Mississippi, Missouri, Oklahoma, North and South Carolina, South Dakota, Tennessee, Texas, Virginia, Washington, and West Virginia are trying to pass Sharia law limitations. Although the term Sharia law is not specifically in the bills, like they leave that terminology out to not uh, cause alarm, they lean towards the acceptance of its religious belief system into our court system. And I want to give you an example. <laughs> in um, the landmark 2010, pro-Sharia ruling on SD versus MJR, Judge Joseph Charles Jr. concluded that the Muslim ex-husband repeatedly had raped his Muslim ex-wife both before and after their divorce. After testimony from the Muslim man Imam, however, the judge denied the ex-wife's request for a permanent restraining order against her ex-husband citing the Muslim man's belief and practices, okay? So get this, and quote, he says, the court believes that the defendant was operating under his belief, that is, as a husband, his desire to have sex when and whether he wanted to was something that was consistent with his practices. So this case is like another case that was in Vienna in October 2016 when the Supreme Court, sorry, Austria, Austria, not Vienna, the Supreme Court overturned a sentence after an immigrant admitted guilt of raping a 10-year-old boy at a public swimming pool. He cited the fact that he had not had sex for four months. So the court overturned the sentence because of his own belief system. This is when Sharia law starts to come into the court systems and then people give tolerance to their poor way of believing or something. I don't understand it. Anyway, um, act is aware of the dangers of allowing the perspective of religious belief as an excuse to commit American judicial crimes, thus accommodating Sharia law. Okay, so it is the concern of accommodating Sharia law in the American courts. Is, is that considered a hate crime? And or civilian personal views considered Islamophobia? This is what's happening today. So the city of Portland, Oregon, requested the hate group act to cancel their protests against Sharia law in light of the recent killing of a victim on a public transportation system for defending a Muslim woman. And I'm sure it made international news. So the group moved their protest to Seattle as a result. So think about this, okay? So in light of all this information I gave you, it's not cited in the NBC article that I referenced here, okay? The mainstream articles do not include all of what I included here, okay? Some of the background, what is Sharia law? What are some of the effects of accommodating Sharia law and the immigrants and Muslims uh, coming to our country and 
other countries like in Europe as well. So I ask you, if, is standing for our constitutional rights and protecting the citizens from crime such as those, are they a voice of hate? Or is it the lo level of the left's tolerance <laughs> going a bit too far? Okay, There should be thousands of people marching with ACT against the accommodation of Sharia law, not 30. The fake news is when the news agency does not include the other half of the story. They do not dig deep to inform the public of the reality of the events. They start to slant their articles to generate particular political beliefs for the owners or their political agenda. And it's against the public safety and concerns of the people. They're doing a good job of this because, and I'm going to blame you, the public, or allowing this to happen because you're not standing up, digging deep, supporting independent news, just reading this stuff and blindly believing it without spending any time doing research yourself. And what's the result? I can't even remember how many states did I include here. 21 states are trying to pass the accommodation of Sharia law. Do you really want that to happen in your country? Come on, wake up, folks.